Mike Van Deren with Vectors Inc. Just doing a quick video here on how to adjust your optical plummet on your robotic total stations. So first thing to cover here is how do you know if your optical plummet is out? So set up uh, in our training room, we're just gonna imagine we're over a point. We've gone ahead and leveled up our tri uh, I also sometimes like checking uh, our electronic bubble from the instrument itself. So we're one to 250 as far as our scale goes at the moment. You can actually go to one one hundredth or one to 10. So this is extremely sensitive. If you were to back out or get this to our one to 100, we're nice and leveled. How would I check to see if our optical plummet is out? I would look through our optic, get us nice and centered over our point. I would then rotate the instrument 180 degrees, look back through that optical plummet. If there's any error or, or you're no longer over the crosshairs, that's how I know that this is out of adjustment. So if we've now confirmed that our optical plummet is out of adjustment, let's go ahead and talk about how we get things back into manufacturing specs. So like I said, go ahead and set up over a point uh, out in the parking lot. Technically, you can do this in the office. I've uh, put out a penny, or you can grab a business card, put a cross on it, drop it on the floor, set your instrument up over that point. I recommend you do a tall setup on this. Uh, the taller we can get it, the more fine-tuned and accurate we can get the uh, crosshairs here. So once we're over our point and we're nice and leveled, I want you to look through the instrument. As you did your setup, you'll be directly over the crosshairs. When you then flip 180 degrees, uh, it's going to be out. I'm going to hand this off to Jonathan here. So this is what this will look like. So like I said, we're gonna have a nice tall setup. The higher we can get it, the more we can fine tune that error route. So don't do a low setup. Uh, this is Trimax tall. Here's what your crosshairs are gonna look like on the optical plummet. So when we look through this direction, let's say here's our PK nail, or like I said, a business card you put a cross on, things are gonna look nice and tight when you look uh, through on, call it face one, so to speak. If we flip 180 degrees, here's our crosshairs. Let's say we flip it 180 degrees, and now here's our PK nail. So in or basically what we need to do is adjust out this error. So then if I'm level, I technically should be able to look through the optical plummet, 90 degrees, 180 degrees, that PK nail should be centered the entire time. So in order to adjust this, Jonathan, give me a quick uh, close-up here. On our optical plummet, we have four set screws. So there's a, I want to say it's approximately a one millimeter Allen wrench. You might have these in a little eyeglass plastic case that's in the robot. If you're on an older total station, unfortunately, the newer guns don't come with it. So you have four set screws, one on top, one on bottom, one on the left, and one on the right. So what we do... We get over our point, it's nice and centered. When you flip this 180 degrees and our PK nail is over here, we need to adjust out half of the error. So you're gonna use your Allen wrenches. Do, I do one plane at a time. Typically I do my left, right first. So what I'll do is I adjust out half of the error. So uh, you loosen one screw and tighten the other. So you just go opposite directions. So it's a push-pull to move those crosshairs. So I'll adjust this out halfway. So now my PK nail's here. I'll flip it back around. You'll need to re-center, get over your point. So you are gonna have to adjust. Get on this plane, get directly over your point, flip back over, you've taken out half the air and I'll keep flipping this back and forth while adjusting that in. So the thing you have to remember is so you don't chase your tail, take out half of the air, because then when you flip back around and adjust, then swing the other direction, it should stay. So we're just gonna fine tune that in. So you'll work a horizontal plane first, then vertical. And then the way to confirm, like I was talking about, if you get nice and level over your point, flip 180 degrees, and if that PK nail is still centered, things should be good to go. Quick video, hope that helps.